Yeah, go ahead. Well, you can't do this to me. You know how much I sacrificed? Right, so this is where our issue seems to be coming from. Somebody just basically taped this up. So I'm gonna take all this off. Watch the metro swarms of illegal hot. street racers rev their engines and put them to on our road. Right, corporate, the rice is silent. Yes, Good guys, it's your boy. Rice Corp, and we are back with another one. So today, we got the distributor in, thanks to, to some help with my friend. We got a new distributor in here. Um, but what we determined was it's not fully the distributor. So the problem I'm having with the 240 right now is it's driving perfectly fine until you come to a stop when the idle is very weak and the car keeps turning off on me. Um, I don't know. There, and there's so many different reasons that could be. Like, as I look it up, first it said the distributor. Um, another one said if you leave the um, defroster on these models, this, it could also affect it. Tried both of those. Didn't fix it. Um, another one said the injectors after he put some, um, we got some STP and some seafoam. He said he tried that. And this fixed it, so this is what we're gonna try uh, next. Another one also said that maybe he just got bad gas, but I didn't even have that much gas. So I put, you know, about 20 bucks of new gas in. I haven't driven it since I put it in. I just kind of filled it up right here. Um, but yeah, so what we're gonna try is this STP for the fuel injectors and this for the engine. And we're gonna see, if hopefully that fixes it. But um, I don't know, fingers crossed. We're trying to get it running for this summer, basically. Man, it has been so long since I actually got to really drive this car because I've just been scared that once it stops, it's not going to turn on again. So, yeah, I haven't really done it because of that. So, let me see. In the gas tank. Let me open this. Shoot, if I have problems again, bro, I'm about to just, just down this bottle, bro. Just. All righty. Begin the fuel treatment. Oh, you know what? I think it's going in. Do I need to hold this open? You got that little thing. I might need to hold this open. I learned from work. If she ever, if you ever need to put gas in a car, but you got one of those ones with the little metal thing, if you just hold it open like that with a socket and then pour it and let it do the rest. Okay, so we're gonna put this whole bottle in, and then we're gonna put half the sea foam bottle in here, and the other half in the engine bay. Make sure you don't let this fall uh, fall down there. You're gonna be paying a lot more, my boy. Rice Corp said to put it in there. No, no, no. I'm putting a disclaimer right now. All right, half of the sea foam. Gonna put the rest and the crankcase up here, same place you would add oil pretty much. <clears throat> Who's this motherfucker's tail, you, you thirsty bitch? Yeah, that's the little bit. I don't want too much in there. But I trust the phone with my car's life. Okay, so we still gotta go add some coolant, but I'm gonna wait till we pull out. Um, let me go. Let me go and show you guys what I am talking about. Real quick. Alrighty. Oops. Gold star. Look now, it starts. Fine. Oh shoot, it starts fine. Sounds fine, good, right? But after it war, um, eventually sometimes it just starts to the idle starts to drop down. 
I thought it was the coolant issue. We fixed that. I thought it was the distributor issue. We fixed that. So I'm just still trying to figure it out. Let's get a look a load. starting to fall after she warms up some. I try to give it gas. It drops before it goes. Damn, it is doing a little better. It ain't turn off. She's still dropping when I'm putting a little gas in, but she's doing a little better. I'm wondering if it is the fuel injectors. Huh. She's running like fine. Idle's up. Wow. Temperature's warm. Let me try to give it gas. Oh man, she's running fine. She's popping, but backfiring, but. Idle drops if I get it up higher. It is running amazing. No problems off the gas, none of that. I think we fixed it. So we changed the distributor, we put some new fresh gas in it, and we Clean the injectors with some uh, STP and some sea foam in the engine crankcase, and she is running amazing. So I might be back, guys. I might be back. I'm back. Woo Don't do it. Hours later. Oh boy, this car always killed me, dog. The brakes went out mid drive. This motherfucker will not stop. Oh, I swear this car is a death trap. All right, y'all. So I made it back. Let's see if we can figure out what's going home. What's going on? Because if we don't, I guess I'm gonna have to wait in this parking lot. Well, brakes still not working. We just got back to the car. What we're going to try to do see is if we can uh, if we can bleed the air. Cause I think there's just air in the brakes. Dirty, that might be the problem. <laughs> Look at this track I left. <laughs> this is the reason why <laughs> she fucking up right now. <laughs> I left a nasty burn on the way in. <laughs> we found the issue. 
This wire, this is broken. This hose is broken. So we got a vacuum leak. Fuck. Which is turning this car off. And this goes all the way down there. I found the leak, so I pretty much found the reason why the car was uh, shutting off. So the vacuum hose that goes to the brake booster, the hose is torn. The hose is torn. Uh, I, I started peeling it off, the tape off, um, off camera, but I'm gonna show you guys as soon as I get there. But yeah, the previous owner just pretty much taped over it. The hose has been broken and I didn't know that. But uh, yeah, so I got here some tape and some fittings that we're gonna try to put that in between and uh, yeah, go from there. All right, so this is where our issue seems to be coming from. Somebody just basically taped this up. So I'm gonna take all this off. Later. Okay. When I tell you to start it, I want you to start it. Okay, try it now. Try it again. Yeah, go ahead. All right, it's the next day and pretty much taping her. Fixed her again, temporarily. So we pretty much just need to buy that brake uh, booster vacuum hose and I think we'll be okay. Corporate the rice is silent. <laughs> 